Welcome, everyone, to a new edition of Carol Worldwide. We are... Uh, Can you believe that July 4th, uh, last week? I mean, here we are, another year closer. That was an unfortunate accident yeah. on the 4th of July. It really I mean, was. I know. hope everyone's okay. But happy birthday, Earth. <laughs> So, uh, one thing that we missed last week on a little bit on purpose, cause we just need to talk about it now as a big subject is I actually, um, was a hypocrite and I waded into the, uh, waters of Facebook because someone had found money. I think it was outside of Ulta. Right. And, um, they had said, please contact me with the amount and you know, where you think you would have dropped it and I will return it. That sounds fine, right? Much like that little girl did a couple of months ago. Three, yes, it was Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts, Donuts, yeah. Right? And in that occasion, Dunkin' Donuts, someone crawled out of the woodwork and complained. What was their complaint? They complained that it was a scam. That it was a scam, and we were baffled. <laughs> we're still baffled. And I think, is it the same person? Is I don't it? know. I, I, we can assume it is, because no, no, there are no two people... In this community, they're going to believe that's a scam. So they, this the same sort of fact pattern happened, and another person, or a person, maybe the same one, came out of the woodwork and said, not this scam again. Which makes me think it's the same person. Yes. So they believe the fact pattern where someone goes to Facebook and says they found money and to please make some identifying characteristics about it and it will be returned is a scam. <laughs> okay. So let's unpack this. Okay. This person, if they found the money, could have said nothing. <laughs> and kept it. And, and kept it. Scam over. Scam over. There's no scam there. <laughs> Easy. Right? The only thing, and I don't think the person, I don't think they articulated this. The only thing is you could make up the whole thing entirely to get people to talk to you about the thing that didn't happen. You could lie about its entire existence for attention. So it's a scam, a, a, an attention scam. It could be an attention scan. That's the only thing I thought of when I racked my brain. I could go on there and say I found 20 bucks at Texas Roadhouse. People would say stuff to me. The frick and frack of the conversation would happen, and there wouldn't be 20 bucks. Or And you wouldn't be lonely. And you'd get your validation for the day. Right. That's the only way it's possibly a scam. But, like, again, scam really has a monetary connotation. Mm Mm-hmm. Right? Like, mm-hmm. you say scam yeah. not because it's like, someone scammed me out of my emotional support. Like, no one says that. You know, you get scammed out of five bucks. Right? And <laughs> it's so, a con. It's a con. And so... Grift. It's a grift. It's a Kansas City shuffle. And <laughs> um, I even came in... I think you and I, like, both... He- our heads exploded at the exact same time because we had, like, a comment, like, one minute apart that each, like, got a lot of support. It was, like... The guy, they could have just kept the money. What's the scam? And then the person waded back into the waters and like tried to explain it many times. It still didn't make sense. That explanation was <laughs> amazing. Uh, money blowing away across the parking lot. And yeah, I guess the scam would be it's like, what if you found less money than they lost? Well, I mean, all you can do is like, you've got a set of circumstances. You found $40. Whether it was once a wad of $400, you don't know because you're late to the scene. So the best you can do is ask about it. And furthermore, if someone came to me and said in that scenario, hey, I lost 200 bucks in mixed bills um, around this time. It doesn't sound like that's all of it. If no one else comes forward, it might have been that they got separated because like I'd just been to the bank or blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I mean, maybe like... I, I think there's his, just no scam. There's just no scam. I think his point was no one's benefiting from this. If you bring it up and then Facebook you, is you <laughs> well, you, that's you, li- true. you lie about the amount, you can sort of absolve yourself because of, well, you put it out there that you found it and you tried. Yeah. But lying about it doesn't absolve you. It kind of makes it worse. But you just say nothing. Was, you, and, 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 well, and, yeah, you and I know that. And, and and you could furthermore, someone could tell you the exact thing and you could still keep it. Like none of this puts you on the hook for anything. <laughs> right. And 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 it does not even that. None of this puts more money in your pocket. You're not doing the Nigerian prince where it's like, oh, I found $600 locked in a safe. I need 20 bucks to go down to the locksmith. That's a scam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's not like, oh, I need $10 to talk about the $500 I found. Like, no, that wasn't it at all. It was just a uh, deep, the, the explanation and the follow-up was either deeply hilarious or deeply tragic and maybe both. I liked your comment. This guy can vote. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Dennis's comment. 
I yeah. said that? Yeah. Yeah, you said that on our our, our Slack feed. <laughs> you forgot what you oh, said? Oh, 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 yeah. I, I said that on the Slack feed. Yes. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. No, not on, no. <laughs> but yes, oh, this guy can vote. Yeah. Presumably, unless he's a felon, and I wouldn't put it past him if he's got scams on the brain. Mm. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> but, okay, so here's here's a, a deeper question for you guys. Okay. If you find money on the ground, mm-hmm. and if you're of a certain moral character, and you decide that you look around and you just put the money in your pocket if you're that person Mm -hmm. that's not a scam either no that's just you find money yeah there's there's the i don't think there's certainly nothing illegal about it no you find money on the parking lot and there's nobody no one bats an eye if you pick a nickel up off the ground no of course not right and uh no one goes to facebook about their lost but we maybe we should go to facebook about a lost nickel right now oh you know <laughs> that'd be amazing run a scam let's run let's do the scam find the scam let's make the scam yeah all right we're, we'll make a scam okay make a scam it's in my notepad it's real by the way notice how relaxed and friendly sherry is today well that chair situation got fixed so it's just totally it's not different. so damn hot in here anymore either not, not so hot not hot she's not a rolling chair Cherry Sherry has got her chair back, <laughs> and she's got her coffee. It's just a whole new world. She had her coffee. Well, I mean, it's but it's it's kicking in it's now. Kicking mm-hmm. in. It's mm-hmm. it's it's infusing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not so angry at Randy. I anymore. mean, I can <laughs> the. Uh, have you ever had the found money experience? Because like I found, of course. I found ten dollars on the ground at Choppers, and I just went up to the clerk and I said, "This isn't my money." If someone comes back and says they lost ten dollars, here it is. And like to me, that was the right thing to do. The clerk could have kept it. I don't know, but it's like, it's ten bucks. I'm not gonna sit outside the store waiting for it. I've got my kid. No, like you just give it to someone and, um, you know, just hope for the, just do something that's a reasonable hope for the money to be recovered. And I felt that was fine. I yep. didn't put it on Facebook though. Should have gotten those likes. Did I had you? an experience when I was pretty young, and I found a brown paper bag full of, with wads of money in it. Wow! Like I'll big amount of cash like a, like even for now would be a lot of cash even as a for young now person. yeah and it, i mean so it like it looked a little weird and mm-hmm. i thought why doesn't somebody have this money in their purse but i was too young to like kind of process through it so i i went out of the dressing room and i gave the bag to my mom and i'm like mom i just found this in the dressing room and my mother was just like hysterical like oh my god i can't believe somebody lost this much money and what are we going to do and so she immediately took it to like the the person in charge of that particular department in Mm -hmm. the department store and gave it to them because she was really concerned that somebody would be missing that amount of money but in hindsight that looks a little really that's squirrely right that's oh prob- my god you probably broke up a drug deal is it, you, you, you probably, probably did. intercepted a ransom yeah i mean it was like a lot what is of it money. like hundreds or thousands it was it was hundreds it was all i mean i mean hundreds, it was probably drugs then yeah it was screw, i mean screw for, for that time you know when i was a very young girl of back course. in the early 90s uh, <laughs> it was still a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> you uh, early 90s early 2000s whatever yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah so Anyway, worst scam of all time because there's literally no way to make money on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guy's an idiot. Literally, You're an idiot, sir. Literally no way to make money on it. Um, so, Randy, you had you had a question about a new library location. Yeah, I heard they were making a new library. Where is it going to be? So there is no new location. The basement of the Westminster Public Library is getting a build out called Exploration Commons. It's a wonderful cause. You should check it out. And uh, they're getting a maker space and some, a kitchen, and they're just like kind of doing a little bit more like hands-on educational stuff down there. So they're not geographically moving the library to say Southern Tawny Town or anything like that. They're just <laughs> leaving it right in Westminster <laughs> on Main Street. They're expanding their operations. So th- is there already a basement in the library? It isn't it, a basement that's not really public use. It right. has a basement, mm-hmm. and they're working on that. I don't know any more of the details. I know the people involved are all top-notch, and it's like a really good thing. It's going to give a lot of the kids at, um, what's it called? Boys and Girls Boys Club? Boys and Girls Club. They're going to be able to like go over there oh, and do fun. this other stuff, and then families and everything else. So it's like I think it's like a more... Uh, blown out version of what ting has in their little maker space it's but it's like sort of with a eye towards like big public access because the picture on the carroll county Times showed a whole new building yeah there was like an artist rendering of wait am i wrong maybe i'm wrong again no because that maybe, can't be there, there there's the, the, there's two separate the sun separate. will go out 
There's two separate Twice? projects. Twice. I thought you were consecutively. Talk- no. Well, I thought you're, never there happen. is something called Exploration Commons that's going to the basement of that library, but maybe no, there's a different thing that you're talking about. There was a story of a whole new library, and I thought it was a whole new location, but there was like words and paragraphs, and I don't have all day for this okay. reading. Reading. Well, the thing I know about is the maker space down in the basement of Westminster. Well, that's library. something. That's that's what I think is cool. Now, <laughs> are the sketchy people that hang out there going to go down there and? in the 3d printer and make weapons or something like that or did i just give them that idea and i'm going to be the downfall of westminster 3d print your ak-47 exactly randy you've ruined it all again Mm. randy ruins everything so speaking about randy that title we haven't talked about if randy's basic or not recently and so my uh, so i don't think you've met my wife but so she only listens to the podcast and she sees your facebook picture and she was like she made some comment that didn't quite like jive. She was like, um, oh yeah, well, Randy's probably out a lot because you know of, of like what he's up to. And I was like, what does that mean? He's like, well, Randy's in like his mid twenties, isn't he? And I was like, <laughs> I love your wife. <laughs> I was like, how, how am I in my mid twenties? <laughs> well, because I think that I've joked about on the podcast oh. and I think that your picture, it's like, you can't really tell anything about it. You got the big shades on and all this stuff. And so she's like, oh yeah, this looks like a guy who parties. So <laughs> congratulations Mark. she thinks she thought you were in your i was like no randy because like then because like i didn't really make the connection at first i was like huh and i was like talking <laughs> about the fact that like your kids are older than isabel and she's like huh and like we were like not we were both having one of those couples conversations where like we were like crossing streams and couldn't figure out what's going on and then the the big revelation was that she had a different idea about your age because your kids are significantly older than ours and it just wouldn't make sense if you my were in your mid-20s. Are, my kids are almost older than me at this point. <laughs> well, so I thought you would like that. You're doing a good job with what your Facebook nice work. What a nice compliment. Yeah. It is a nice compliment, but yeah, I don't go out and party. And my body goes into shutdown mode around 8.30. <laughs> yeah. And you can ask anybody in my house. Do you do you a lot of naps on the couch? <laughs> the other day, this is true. Oh. Sunday, I tried to go the whole day with no caffeine at all. I took four naps that day. <laughs> That's awesome. How long were the naps? I think 20 minutes or so. Just a little cat nap? It's a power yeah. nap. Yeah. yeah, but I couldn't stop napping because I was like, I'm going to get through the day with no help, with no caffeine, with no assistance for energy. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> well, I always, I'm at this point in my life, if I have one beer, it's just like a nap beer. It just like tires me out. Mm-hmm. You got to like either like power through to some more or just not even start. Right. So did you get the coffee at Birdie's? No, I had no coffee. Oh, that day. It was the coffee every day. Should have gone, gone, gone to Birdies. He should have gone to Birdies. Yep. Should have gone to Birdies. And coming up with uh, Birdies as a central hub, what's happening in Westminster, Sherry? So this Saturday, July the 13th, is our second annual Westminster Pride Festival from oh. noon to five mm-hmm. on East Main Street. Food vendors, live music, maybe a burlesque show or two. <sighs> How many vendors you got now? A DJ. <laughs> hundreds of vendors hundreds i'm gonna make a prediction about this because okay uh i think it's gonna be at least a hundred percent bigger than it was last year absolutely because i, I didn't I even know it was happening last year until the day it happened and i heard about it like after the fact mm-hmm. there's a lot of build-up for mm-hmm. it this year there is a lot of build-up people yeah. are sharing it yes sherry yeah. sharing <laughs> sherry sherry sharing <laughs> there's a lot of people saying ugly things too but you know <laughs> them mm-hmm. But we're going to have did a great see, time. Did you ever see the Louis C.K. bit about... He's canceled. Yeah. Uh, we don't really talk about him, do we? Oh, right. Because he's uh, he masturbated in front of women and made them watch. Mm-hmm. But he did say something funny before he did all that. He said... Or it might have been before we knew about all that. He said... <laughs> That's a really nice segue from the Pride Festival to this. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I can cut all this out if you want. <laughs> it's thanking Randy. It's not me. Yep. I, I brought up he was canceled. But anyway, okay. don't keep us... No, go ahead. Go he, ahead. he made a really funny joke about about uh, people who are anti-gay. He said there are, there are people just sitting at home going, damn it, people are gay. <laughs> 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 and that's it. Yeah, I don't I don't understand the, the hate there. I mean, who really cares it's, what it's people do it's, in the privacy of their own homes? It's but fear. It's like, it is. It's fear. But anyway, we're doing what we can to... Uh, make that not a thing anymore. We are we're doing love, we're doing sunshine, we're doing glitter, we're doing face painting, great food, music, amazing pride festival. 
right here. In our <laughs> I think small it's going to be really big. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. Sorry you guys won't be there, but uh, I'll but save you a frozen margarita. We're both traveling. Well, it's apparently, crazy. yeah, I'm going to be getting uh, yes. what, some kind of you're virus going to or something. D- you're going to die on your <laughs> cruise. It, it, the, the whole Goldstein clan is on the cruise. Yes, all four of us. The ones who survived the decking. <laughs> yes. The de- well, no, the decking. nobody survived the decking. The decking. The great <laughs> decking of... <laughs> 2007. So, so Randy, your dream is coming true in form of brick oven pizza. What's the rumor? Oh yeah, there there is an alleged confirmed rumor. Alleged confirmed <laughs> that the Mission Store on 32 in Sykesville is becoming a brick oven pizza place. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's all I know. Interesting. There already and is a Blake brick oven pizza place in Mount Airy. And the source there of is. this information to you is a reliable source of information. Uh, 90% reliable, yeah. Wow. I hope that person is not offended. Yeah, I hope they're not offended either. 90% is pretty high. I don't know. Mm. I mean, I hope you're not talking about your wife. Everybody's got a little trickster in them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Loki. So we could uh, we could hope that happens, I guess. And, um, I'm hoping. Hope, hope. So we're going to go back to an old favorite. Randy, tell me about some traffic stuff that's happened to you recently with mm. the mall. Somebody's phone going off? Someone's someone's not, buzzing. Not me. Not me either. There's no way you can hear my phone from all the way Yeah, yeah, here. I can hear it buzzing. These mi- mics are very sensitive. I mean... It is, it is me. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's see who it is. You want to answer our phone call? Yeah, let's yeah. answer our phone, RBG. Oh, maybe it's my mom. But you let it go <gasps> It so is long. my mom. No, I'm not answering this. Sorry. <laughs> mom almost got famous. No, no. Um, I did want to bring everybody's attention to if you come to the mall from 27 and you go into mall ring circle or whatever that is from 27, incoming traffic does not stop. It does not have a stop sign. It's not supposed to stop. Right. But there used to be signs on the stop signs that are on mall. Was it mall ring circle? Right. The people who are like circling Mm -hmm. the mall, they They have have a warning that the other people don't stop. Not anymore because on the one, the sign is missing. Uh oh. And on the other stop sign, it's like bent around the pole or something. So <laughs> people who are new to Mall Ring Circle don't know that incoming traffic doesn't stop. And I've had a lot of near misses there lately, and I'm sure other people have as well. So be very careful. Yeah, well, maybe you should talk to uh, the assistant to the manager of the mall. Oh, did I just break our rule? Oh, crap. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just. Jo- but it's a warning, it's also a traffic issue. Yeah, it's not a complaint about the mall. It's per also se. Th- that road yeah. is th- that road might be a public road. It yeah. It, where's the mayor? It's on city property. Yeah, oh, where is the mayor? Where's the mayor? Mm. Where's the mayor? Mm. Where's the okay, mayor? complain to the mayor. Okay, got yeah. it. Okay, take it right to the top. Take it to the top. But, the, okay, th- this brings up something else I wanted to talk to Sherry about because there's why not me? There's because there's been an ongoing theme with Sherry uh-huh. these past seven or eight months. Uh oh. About you don't post a lot on social media. I do not now. There was a woman that posted a couple months ago about kids being on a roof somewhere, and you said she was just being, look at me, I'm posting this, look at me, instead of handling it privately. Right. Okay. Is it your belief that anybody that posts anything on Facebook is, look at me? Um, oh, wow. Yes. I do believe it's a, a, a vanity type situation for, yeah, and, I, and I'm looking right at you and i'm talking to you um yeah i think okay. i think that it's it, i think it's attention seeking behavior which i do not like and i think that people who get on to social media and vomit their problems and their lives and their complaints are doing it solely to seek attention are there from sh- others. Are there shades of gray or is it black and white? Like example. Absolutely. Yes. There's always shades of gray. When I posted the picture of that tree falling on that power line. You did that to be funny. No, I didn't. That wasn't funny. I was doing it to warn people like watch out if you're on Stone Chapel Road. No. Was, was that a look at me? I mean, it was a little bit look at me, but it was, <laughs> okay. but it was mainly, yeah, th- of course there are situations. W- that's a great example of where it's mainly white and not black. But um, don't look at me like that. You said shades of gray. I was going to make a racist joke okay, and well, then I decided don't, not don't to. Don't do that. That's oh, gosh. not what this is about. We're talking about shades of gray. Um, yeah, but I, I mainly think that the majority of people who go onto Facebook and whatever other social media you choose to be a part of and post pictures of their perfect families and their perfect dogs and their perfect 
kids and well you know they're not perfect no of course scenes. not and and it's just it's i don't know it's ridiculous to me all oh, this happened to me today and they want it's attention it's classic attention seeking behavior okay most of it i wasn't going to challenge you the on majority, it i mostly yes. agree with you on it i just didn't know <clears throat> if you were if it and was I'm, like all i or also don't post a lot on social media because i'm a voyeur i want to like sneak in and look at what other people are doing and so they and then they don't know what i'm doing you like are, it's like a Schrodinger's Facebook. By posting, you're changing the environment. Right. And you just want to mm-hmm. observe it yeah, in its I'm, natural I'm state. Yeah, re- I'm a researcher. I want to I wanna know what's going you on. You have posted in the past and... Yes, I have. Boy, you go nuclear when you post. So well... If Sherry does post... I, I And I think you're probably thinking of a specific instance. <laughs> and yes, I did. <laughs> and... And that was, um, you know, that was due to excessive drinking <laughs> and emotional trauma. So we've all had those moments. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Yes. It's just an interesting topic, I think. And I was trying to hurt someone very badly, the way they had hurt me, and I am I, I, I retracted. We don't need to get into it. it. I retracted we it. We don't need to get into it. It's Within just... hours of putting it up, I realized when I sobered up, it was a bad idea. Okay. So yeah, but, I, I'm guilty so, of it. But 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 most people posting anything like either people posting about the restaurants or the complaints and this and that. I I think I think it's I really mostly for for I feel validation. Like, yes, I feel like it's for validation, attention seeking behavior. Yes, that's what I that's what I feel. Yeah, I mean you're seeking attention, but f- like it's just like maybe for for like a cause like if your cause is this place treated me like crap and everyone needs to know about it you're not necessarily you may be seeking validation but you also may be like i'm trying to like hurt this person too like right? this business or whatever like i mean in general like you, I mean, facebook is about sharing i guess or it was so i mean you have to want people to know the stuff so you have to f- strike a balance well, the, like, inter- the thing is the, so the, the minute the minute my wife was pregnant i like stopped with facebook for the most part like i mean i post pictures of like the family stuff just like as a mem- like memento so people can say like, oh you haven't seen my kid in a while here's what it is but like i'm not what it is i'm not i'm not like hashtag dad life like three times a week trying to like make my life into something it's not you know right right you're not yeah and I'm there, like, I'm there like, are people that are doing that. You can tell they're compensating for something. Yeah. Well, hey, it's like uh, one of the most visited websites on the planet. So they're doing something desirable to people, whether or not it's good for people. We don't know. It's sort of like that guns don't kill people, people kill people concept. Because like, I think Twitter is absolute trash. Mm-hmm. But people will tell me, well, Twitter is just a software platform. That's all it is. It's how people use it that is the trash. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we, there weren't any people, we'd all just have none of this stuff. So uh, both those things are We probably extreme. wouldn't have this podcast if there were no people. Well, who knows? This would be the one thing I, that I God I mean, preserves. fair point. We wouldn't have a lot to talk about <laughs> on Carol Worldwide if there was no Facebook. So. That's true. So before we get into the top 10 list, uh, and maybe we'll cut this part. Did you want to re- have your son records acceptance of the Golden Tractor Crank? I, I absolutely will, yes. Okay. Yeah. So Did he, he accepted it? He, he ex- gladly Do you want to set it, it up yes. for him? Sure. Okay, set up. Your son is getting a special phone-in golden tractor crank, and he has already accepted it. We're not victimizing him. No, we are not victimizing okay, him. Okay, so tell us what happened. So a couple of weeks ago, right after school was finally over and summer had just begun. Ah, the best time the as a teenager. Best time of the year. Mm. My precious, precious middle child. Mm-hmm. Went to a friend's house mm-hmm. without telling me oh, where he was going. And um, I guess they were swimming in the pool. And also they decided to take a joy ride in a couple of gator golf carts. No, they were, these were, they were allowed to use the gators. Of course they were. Okay, so there wasn't a theft or anything. But no, there was no theft involved. Nothing untoward mm-hmm. really happened. So he was the just passenger. A, just a beautiful sunny, sunny day in bucolic <laughs> Carroll County. It's, this it's sounds great. Very rural, northern Carroll County, somewhere near Tawny Town, <laughs> Randy. The southeast area. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and they're riding through these rolling fields of Carroll County in the, in the Gator. And the driver, my son was the passenger, took a hard right turn and flipped the Gator and threw my son out. And he was thankfully not hurt 
in a, a way that can't be fixed. But, but he was he was pinned under the gator, and uh, and now currently has to spend the rest of the summer in two boots, one on each leg, and a wheelchair. So he that's is, like a very Carroll County way to get hurt. He is golden tractor crank worthy golden tractor so, son congratulations sebastian and here's his acceptance i sebastian joseph humbly accept this week's golden tractor crank award and we're back <laughs> so um we're, we're we're almost done and it's time for our highlight of the episode as usual <laughs> a second top 10 list of the day for us it's a top eight list okay we'll we'll interject yeah, you guys should interject. Two more. Okay, go okay. ahead. So I, I started thinking about ways you could actually effectively scam money in Carroll County. Oh, yeah. Due to content. Well, I've got one. I'm going to post <gasps> oh, okay. on Facebook that I found 50 bucks. Oh, okay. And then... But wait, was that, was that already <laughs> one of her top 10? What, what's, the, what's the scam? <laughs> That's the scam. Why don't you get it? Okay. <laughs> Dennis can vote. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, he's sca- uh, he's scamming us out of logical thought. <laughs> do you have a do you have a good scam other than the ones you already suggested? We'll, we'll maybe interject him. We'll, we'll, maybe you want to jump in. Okay, so uh, I thought uh, there'd be a great uh, scam. Um, let's just call this number nine: um, grass clipping collection service. <laughs> so you could actually you sh- you could pick up the grass clippings and then take them to another location, spread them again. And then charge to you know. And just, it's actually kind of brilliant. Yeah, you could you could keep on scamming that mm-hmm. way. Okay, um, you could uh, also, uh, a la our favorite uh, Facebook user, you could offer your skills as a handyman, take the money, and then show up drunk and ineffective. Okay, <laughs> that's a great scam. Mm-hmm. Oh my it's god! Clearly working for for dude. That's right? brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you could um, also, number six, confuse the cashier with fancy change making <laughs> after you hand them large bills. You tried to can City Shuffle on you that. Know, oh, yeah. my God. You confuse can, the cashier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you end up getting back more money than you actually gave them. Mm-hmm. Didn't gypsies used to do that? Like, they would give you a 10 and go, well, I'll give you 20. You need to give me two 10s back. <laughs> and confuse you, and you'd be like, oh, whatever. I just oh, got to get out oh, of this. Oh, boy. I that happened. Know. I don't think gypsies is a, a PC term. Isn't it? No. I don't think so. All right. I'll, I'll ask the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> um, number five. Here's a great little scam that I use. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually charge customers for additions when they ask for additions to their, you know, to their food. I do that a like lot. Like sugar, cream? <laughs> no, like actual valid additions. Oh, like, okay. wait a minute. I get, I get my Avocado sandwich. Avocado and. I get my sandwich with no pear. Do you owe me money? I probably do. <sighs> But yeah, it doesn't it's work that way. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work the opposite house always, way. House always wins. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, you, could always, um, you could always double book an event and keep the money. There you go. Oh, that's, that's a great that's scam. That's a great scam. Yeah. And I think it's been very effective for one local business. At Hoops Hill? Yeah. <laughs> um, you, number three, you, you could actually start charging customers to take up space in your restaurant if they're not you know, buying anything else. You could just you know, go over there with a, a bill and say, here, here's your rent for the uh, hour and a half that you sat here and That's a good one. took up my oxygen. Um, number two, you could use fancy Italian or Spanish words to describe your, sh- your drink sizes to confuse the English-only speaking that come into your particular uh, It's not going to confuse Ashley and her Uggs. No, it will not. Her pink iPhone cover. No, she mm-hmm. will. She will know exactly what you're talking about. And um, so th- this is technically number one uh, out of nine because you know Dennis offered his great idea for mm-hmm. a scam. Mm-hmm. Um, you could sell your rancid food as today's <laughs> special. There you go. There you go. You just put on the markdown bin at the, wherever the grocery store is. <laughs> there you go. All right. Is that everything? That's all we got. I'm Dennis Twig. I'm Randy Goldstein. Come to Pride. I'm Sherry Hosfeld-Joseph. See ya.